Singapore currently adopts a managed float exchange rate regime where the Sing dollars are allowed to fluctuate within an undisclosed band. Other countries choose to disclose the size of the allowed band. Should the exchange rate move out of the band, the MAS, Monetary Authority of Singapore, intervenes by selling or buying currencies. And this gives us the flexibility to cope with periods of uncertainty. We'll learn more about how this policy works in Singapore in later lectures. By setting an upper and lower limit for the exchange rate, the government allows rapid adjustments in the short term via free market forces, but also retains the ability to set long-term goals regarding the exchange rate. In Singapore's case, before 2008, the MAS had a policy of allowing gradual and modest appreciation of the Sing dollar. After October 2008, the MAS set a new target of 0% appreciation of the nominal effective exchange rate policy ban amidst easing exter uh, easing external and domestic inflationary pressures. We'll learn more about the nominal effective exchange rate, or SNEER, in later lectures. Additionally, the managed float system requires less foreign reserves to maintain, since the fluctuations are allowed in the short term. Now, this explains why a managed float policy in some form or other is so popular in today's globalized world.